1440p HDR AMD FreeSync 2 165 hertz Wolf. That's the only way to fly. Righto, Toyota champs. Now the Dell 32-inch curved gaming monitor S3220DGF. And if that name doesn't get you excited, well, the gaming on it will. And this monitor here had the claim of being the first 1440p 32-inch curved monitor. I mean, everybody's doing it these days, but this is one of the first ones. So what we have for specs here is a 31.5-inch AMD FreeSync Premium Pro Panel VA Panel 2560 by 1440, so 1440p, 165 Hz. Now if you use HDMI, it's 144 Hz, 400 nits of brightness. I measured 416 nits of brightness, 4 millisecond grade-to-grade response time. Now for inputs, we have two HDMI 2.0s and one display port. So that's pretty good. Usually they put two display ports. And the display port is 1.2 and the HDMI is 2.0. It is a curved gaming monitor, 16 by 9, but it has that curve. And this is curved like a banana or a banana. Like you can really see the curve on this. And when you're up close, yeah, it's all right. I like it. It's got a matte coating on it too. Reflections are well controlled. This is a really bright room with, with light coming in everywhere. We have USB hub, which is underneath. And you also have the on-screen display buttons underneath as well. Nice thin bezels. Good build quality. I love that you just take it out. You just screw on the bottom, click it in, woof, you're ready to go. I cannot tell you how good that is because I've reviewed some monitors that, man, I hate putting them together and then pulling them apart. It's just, this thing is so easy. I love that. You don't just have USBs on the bottom. You have actually USBs next to the HDMI. You have your downstream ports, upstream ports, 3.0s. So there's no speakers with this thing. I cannot get G-Sync to work with this. So it is FreeSync Pro, but G-Sync, no. You get the cables you need in there, display board, HDMI, and of course the USB upstream cables. Now, you can get this at a discount now, especially if you're in Australia. I think it's 15% off. I'm not sure if in the US or UK it's 15% off at the moment, but certainly here in Australia, 15% off. This is a good time to buy this monitor i really like gaming on it it's got good brightness good picture and that's the thing about va panels right they have that wide color gamut and i measured over 100 percent srgb and it's also 90 percent p3 never had any tearing ghosting issues it's nice fast responsive there's nothing to worry about with input lag i just loved gaming on it i got in close and 1440p is my favorite resolution for gaming because you can get the frames up there right you probably want a 2060 or 2070 or above if you're lucky enough to get any 3000 graphics card yeah that'll be perfect a 5700 would be a good graphics card for this as well so overall everything's good build quality display quality fast connected feeling 1440p i like it 16 by 9 nice and bright you're gonna love this thing nothing to really complain about except maybe they could put you know hdmi 2.1 or something so i could get 165 hertz with you know hdmi other than that for the price, especially at this discount price, you can get that now. Very good monitor. I am going to review an Alienware monitor that I bought for myself, a 240Hz monitor, and that changed my world. But um, this thing here, I highly recommend it. Let's get into what it's like to game with it. All right, let's do a bit of gaming on this thing. And as you can see, we're pushing about 130 frames per second. Now, this is running at 144Hz because I'm using HDMI. If I was using DisplayPort, I would be 165 hertz. Now, the thing about this is, uh, this is a 2070 I have in here, 2070 Super, actually. And we're pushing 144 hertz. It's getting up there, 144 frames, should I say. And that's the thing, right? If you want this monitor and you want to get the most out of it, you probably want a 2060, a 2070, and the bonus of a 2080. Now, of course, if you can get a 30 series card, 3070, 3080, 3090, even though the 3070 is not out, but you know, maybe when you're watching this, it is. Um, yeah, of course, any 30 series card will be enough to power this, no problem. But I would say, unless you're playing eSport games, you probably want the minimum of a 2060, RTX 2060, or a, even a 1060 might even be good for this. A 1660 Ti is sort of on the limit unless you're playing those eSports titles, as I said. Now, this thing, it's a great monitor. The, the reason why I like it is it's actually really bright in this room at the moment. Re oh, someone rear-ended me. Woof. 
Um, it's actually really bright. There's sunlight coming in. We have a light over the top of this display and we have a light pretty much shining on it, but on an angle to light up the back of this uh, wall here. So it is very bright in here. And that's the first thing I notice about this display is it is very bright, 400 nits. Now 400 nits is obviously 100 nits more than 300 nits, but that's around 33% brighter. And you will notice it. And in a room like this with lots of light, I, you can see the reflections aren't that bad. It's really good because it's got that matte coating, VA panel, it's got nice colors. I didn't have any problems with ghosting or anything like that. It's nice, buttery smooth, and playing this game is awesome. Playing fast-paced game is awesome on this. Um, I really like this dis display, and um, I've got to say, it's better than the other ones I've been reviewing lately. Uh, I've reviewed quite a few gaming monitors, and this one is better just for how smooth it feels. Also, it's better for the brightness and the colors look ace as well. And you know, 100% sRGB, over 400 nits. I've got 416 nits actually out of this. It's a really cracking, it's a cracking display. It's really good. And you can just leave it in its default mode and it's really good. You don't have to mess about and you know, oh, put the response time on fast or whatever. It's just good how it is out of the box. And that's what I like about it. I really like this monitor and I like that it's 16 by nine, it's not ultra wide. And if you sit up close to this, I'm a bit further away at the moment, but I've been playing this F1 like really close to it, like around two foot away from it. It's so immersive, it looks so good. It's just a cracking display and you're gonna love this thing if you buy it. Yeah, this thing is good and it's backed by Dell. So you're gonna have no problems with, you know, warranties, etc. So. Yeah, you can do a lot worse than this display, I tell you, and I really like it. So catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.